Equation of line given two points. Question 9. Find equation of line through the point P minus 4 minus 3 and origin. Well, this is a variation to our problem. So instead of spelling out what my second point is, I am using the term origin. So do you understand what do I mean? I mean origin of coordinate plane. So let's draw our coordinate plane first and see what do we understand by it and try to figure out where the two points are. Point P is minus 4 minus 3. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4. That's minus 4, correct? And minus 3 will be down. So say 1, 2, 3. So that's minus 4 minus 3. And where is origin? Origin is always at the intersection of x and y axis, right? So that is our x axis and this is y axis. So right at the origin or intersection of x and y axis, we have origin O, right? And the coordinates of origin are always 0, 0, okay? So because this is right in the center and that's the reference point from where we have all other points. So at origin, we can write this as point O with zero zeros. Normally, O is for origin, okay? So x-axis, y-axis, and wherever they intersect at right angles will be the origin and the coordinates for points are zero, zero, right? So once we join these two points, you get our line, we get our line. So that is it. So there you are, line through the origin, right? As you can see, it's rising. So we are expecting slope as positive. And now, since we know that the line is going through origin, what is my y-intercept? y-intercept is a point where the line intersects the y-axis. Since line intersects y-axis at origin, b is 0, correct? So we know b is 0. So this problem is relatively simple for us. So we see that y-intercept B equals to zero, right? Since the line goes through origin. Do you see that? So we need to really find just slope. So let's find slope now. So to find slope, what should we do? Slope M. So slope M is rise over run. So these are our two points and as usual, we'll take this as my first and that the second point. So Y2 minus Y1, that means zero minus three. 0 minus minus 3 divided by x2 minus x1, 0 minus minus 4, 0 minus minus 4, that gives me 3 over 4, right? So that's the slope. So therefore, I can write my equation as y equals to mx plus b, which could be written as y equals to slope of 3 over 4, x plus b. To find B, well, let's try to find. We know it is 0, but let's verify. How do we do so? We can select one of these points. Good point to select is 0, 0, of course, right? So we'll put 0 for X and 0 for Y and check what B is. If we do so, we get 0 equals to 3 over 4 times 0 plus B. 0 equals to anything times 0 is 0, right? So 0 equals to b. So we get the expected answer. That's fine. So we know y-intercept is 0 as predicted, correct? So let's write down what do we have. So now we know that slope m is equal to 3 over 4 and y-intercept b is equal to 0. And therefore, our equation y equals to mx plus b can be written as y equals to 3 over 4x plus 0. So no need to write that. So that is like a direct variation which you learned, right? Direct variation, line goes through the origin, right? b, the y-intercept is 0. That is how you get it, right? So here is a quick reminder. When you look at an equation like this, where b value is 0, then you should 
picturize that the line is going through origin. Do you understand? It is like direct variation you learned earlier. Correct? Line will straight line will go through origin and the value of B is zero, right? Don't say B is nothing. B is zero. That is a real value. Okay? So that's the equation for our line going through point P minus four minus three and origin. Thank you.